We'll admit that I am a little bit nervous. smell I can smell is balsamic vinegar and my pants everywhere. Find you like dinner. Find you an avmir para. Yalveri. I had a salad that I was bringing here and um, I had already poured balsamic vinegar on it and it leaked everywhere. This is balsamic vinegar and then I held the bag against my pants and the only thing I can smell is balsamic vinegar. I got a dog last year and, uh, and he died uh, 10 days ago and it's been very hard. He was my baby and he was my shadow. He did everything with me and, and uh, he was hit by a car. So it was very sudden and very sad. Like I, I couldn't hold him after surgery and I was going to get him back after 12 weeks and that was three days from when he died so he died on a Thursday and I was getting him on Monday so it was uh, it was a very tough uh, tough knock in the face to be honest I was only thinking about not tearing this ACL again and my focus was just there I like I never imagined that I could lose my baby in this period I thought I had I thought I had had my shares of, of uh, a vault that I would have to climb over, but here we are again. So I think getting him on my hands and my foot is gonna, yeah, make me feel a little bit better that he's still with me. I'm not good at drawing, but I have good ideas. And uh, so I, I was trying to draw it up. <laughs> and, uh, and now I'm gonna show it to uh, Wes, the guy that's doing the tattoo, and gonna see how he puts it up. He's, uh, he's the true artist, I'm just, uh, just have the idea. It's always been my rule when I'm getting a tattoo that I draw it up myself. So both of my tattoos, I made them myself. So these these are also going to be uh, made by me. But uh, he's uh, yeah. I just met him when I was diving uh, a few months ago, and uh, then I've just been looking at his work, and I like love his work. He's so good with details, and yeah, he's just the true artist. So yeah, taking my chance. Why does it smell like balsamic vinegar in here? <laughs> I am balsamic vinegar today. <laughs> I even tried putting plaster over it, but it went through. <laughs> Do you smell me? Yeah, smells like vinegar. <laughs> Do you need something? A bowl or something? Yeah, maybe a... Uh, yeah, do you have a bowl? Yeah, a <laughs> really that... big one! Yeah, it's perfect! <laughs> well, I use it for popcorn normally. Popcorn? Yeah. yeah, this is my kind of bowl! Yeah! <laughs> do a lot of people eat salad when they come here for a tattoo? No. <laughs> normally, unhealthy stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna change that. Yeah, so this is the tattoo that I'm thinking about is a uh, um, Molly state of birth and when he died on the leg or on the foot here and uh, and then I'm not gonna tell you what this means but it's gonna be in the same letter as this on the left this is a secret just between me and my Molly and then I, I went home and he was laying on um, the grass uh, floor and my dad had put my, his shirt over like where the wound was and I could say like goodbye to him and that meant so much, like I could hold his paw and I, I always had it between my legs so I was just like hugging him for like three hours. Did you bring the tattoo artist food? Yeah, I did. Why? He needs good quality food before he does the tattoo. You always bring us food. Yeah, I always bring them food. <laughs> always when you're here. Yeah. I love bringing food. I love making people happy, you know? You know, it's never easy with me. I like it. <laughs>
You like to do everything by yourself, huh? <laughs> it's in my nature. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. It fits nice. <laughs> no. Oh, and then you just got it. I know, it's right? crazy. <laughs> I think this is perfect. Yeah, right? Nice, yeah. nice. So I'm making my own clothing line. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, this is the male version. I'm, I did not make this, but this is just like comfortable training clothes because you're starting to train, right? Yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah. So I took a chance with this color. It's cool. But you can pull it, right? I can, uh, yeah. I can have it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, and then just shorts. So it's just some, awesome. some mix of stuff. I, I, hope like it, it. I hope it fits. But you yeah. just let me know if it doesn't fit and then I can take medium for you. Yeah, it will fit for me. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. put in a dryer if it doesn't fit. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. You're right. It smells like balsamic vinegar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's just my pants. <laughs> Yeah, this is not painful at all, and uh, like I'm not too optimistic about my foot. I think that's gonna be super painful. So no, no. it's me. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> when did you get your first tattoo? 2016. On the scale of one to ten, how painful is this? This is a uh, 0.5 painful. Which tattoo you have was the most painful? Uh, the rib. It was very painful on the rib. How painful on the scale of 1 to 10? It was like a 8. What's the most painful crossfit exercise you can think of? <laughs> Probably rowing a marathon with a broken rib. That was the uh, most painful thing that I've ever done in my life. <laughs> if you were to do the marathon row event again, what one song would you definitely put on your playlist? Yeah, it is song. T for one with Led Zeppelin because it's 10 minutes and uh, <laughs> and then I would know a little bit after that song that I'm already done with 10 minutes. <laughs> What's the longest workout you've ever done? Or I've done um, quarter Ironman, which was like about two hours, I think, or 140 or something. Now I can remember, but it was definitely more than 90 minutes. That's probably the longest thing that I've. Oh, that might be the marathon row actually. Yeah, that was. I can't remember. Oh, I like I just the most painful thing after the row was when you finished and your body starting to recover. Like, wow, that was just crazy. Everybody was just trying to walk upstairs, crying, and just laying there, and I was stuck like this. And and then I saw my manager, and he's never seen me cry, and, and I just looked at him, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't do anything more, <laughs> help me! Are you more likely to become an endurance athlete and finish yeah. a full Ironman or become a powerlifter and compete in powerlifting in oh, the future? Oh, Ironman, 100%. Double DT or heavy DT? Double DT. Would you rather go 5 minutes all out on the assault bike or 5 minutes all out on the assault runner? Assault bike. <laughs> what place would you never get a tattoo? On my holy area. <laughs> Probably not on my face either, yeah, but face. I but I like like uh, around uh, yeah. This is more neck than face. What's the spiciest food you've ever eaten? Oh, I'm so bad with spice. I probably ginger. <laughs> like that's enough spice for me. <laughs> Mild salsa sauce. <laughs> then I'm crying. <laughs> mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise. Yeah, <laughs> spicy mayo. <laughs> for real though. <laughs> Always hook grip. <laughs> right? That's what I'm thinking. Oops. <laughs> Maybe change the bat a little so you can move. Yeah. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, so we're starting the second tattoo now. And uh, this has been my dream spot since I was young. And I uh, can't wait to see the outcome of it. And if you're lucky, you might get to see it tomorrow when I train with BK. Is it getting more painful? It's getting more painful. <laughs> but it's okay. Survive. Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I am located here in Hapnagerus, training with my good old friend Björgvin. Uh, he's lifting some weights and I'm also going to lift some weights. I'm going to start with some PT and then go into lifting and I'm doing deadlifts for the first time, block deadlifts. So I started doing some running drills uh, on Monday. This is one of the drills. Who dead? What workout are you about to do? Uh, redo the Ambanda 45 from the 2017 games. Did you do it at the game? The games yourself? Yes. How did it go? I think it was 11th with time of 9.14 or 9.17. Did you do that workout? Yes, I did. It was uh, way harder than expected. <laughs> Why? Because you, you didn't break the muscle, or at least on the girls' side, I went too uh, fast to do a big of a set. So I should have paced it a little bit better in the beginning because I died in the middle. And uh, yeah, a lot of no reps of extending because your arms are just, or your grip gets so tired. But... Jurgen wants to beat his time from 2017. Do you think he can manage to do it? I don't think, I know. These are the new Mac guns that I'm uh, testing out today and they were just asking me how they are and uh, yeah, they're pretty good, right? They're, uh, we'll, we'll see in the deadlifts, but they feel great just wearing them, so. More of like a running type of shoe versus Mac guns in my opinion, but I like them. How does it feel putting weights on the bar? Oh my god! So good! Me, you did it! Told you! What was the time now? Uh, 8 minutes and it all time was 9.20 <laughs> Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. 